Hey guys, welcome. My name is Paul and this is the Geeky Stuff channel. Today we have the Ecovax DBOT N8 Plus Vacuum, a robot vacuum. This is the third robot vacuum I've had from Ecovax and this has a empty station with it. It's probably one of the most affordable and most powerful robot vacuums that come with an auto empty station has a powerful suction rate of 2300 PA and it retails in the United States of America for $599. Or if you're in the UK, you can pick this up for £679 on Amazon UK. But I do have some codes in the description below so you can get a little bit of money off. And there's also vouchers available on Amazon as well. So if you check the links in the description below, I'm sure you'll shave or save a few pounds. Shave. So the N8 Plus comes in black or white. I have the white version and I think it looks really good. It's different to the black versions that I've had previously. It looks fresh, it looks clean, but yes, maybe marks and more dirtier marks would maybe show up more on the white than it would do the black, but you have to keep it clean. So what do you get in the box? So obviously you get the vacuum and you get the empty station as well but in terms of accessories you get a power lead you get your two left and right brushes a user manual a mopping pad a spare hoover bag and spare mop heads so under the lid on the n8 plus we have a red power switch that's the main power switch and to the right of that is a little gray button to help you basically connect the vacuum to your network. It's a Wi-Fi button. We also have a small 420 mil bin with a pull-up handle and a very handy brush and blade tool. This is very convenient for maintenance and cutting out any hair that's been tangled in the brush. And for the small bin, there is also a filter in there which can be opened up and cleaned. Underneath the vacuum, the brush is easily accessed by removing the protective cover and can be cleaned very easily. Maintenance on these robot vacuums are really good. So the auto empty station, this is the first time I've actually used one and they're great. The station, I suppose, is a little bit on the large size. So obviously you need to place it in, uh, in a room somewhere that you're happy and comfortable with it actually being there. So it comes with two 2.5 litre Hoover bags which fits securely in the bin and should last up to 30 days according to Ecovax on their website. For me personally, it's lasted longer than 30 days. I've been using this vacuum for over a month now. Uh, still not filled the, the bag up just yet, mainly because we have a small area. We have the living room, the hallway, and sometimes it'll go into the kitchen as well on, on the hard floor. That's all, the only area we really use the vacuum. So this is the auto empty station in action. Returning to charge. When the vacuum has finished its job, it will then go and auto empty. And I was very intrigued and interested to see what actually looks like when it's in action. So I managed to get a, a view from underneath the actual station. Have a look at this. So once the emptying had finished, I went and checked the bin, obviously, because I wanted to see how well I actually uh, emptied the, the small bin. And it was brilliant. There's probably tiny bits of dust in there, but it was all clear. 
So the N8 Plus has a 240ml water tank at the back. You can pop water in there and you can mop the floors with it. But what I found with these spare mops that you get with this is in a sealed bag. They're actually coated in this sort of uh, cleaning agent or detergent. It smells really nice. Peel the pad off, stick the disposable pad on there, whack it back on the, on the vacuum and you can go and mop the floor. And I did just that. And the vacuum even squeezed under this little void we have uh, under the sink. Um, but as you can see, the mop head is quite dirty. Most of that will probably up from under the sink. But it definitely does a good job. So in terms of battery life, on the Ecovax website, they claim the robot will run for about 110 minutes. Uh, to be fair, this vacuum that I've had here has never actually run out of battery. Obviously because of the area is quite so small, so I can get about 20 minutes, 17, 20 minutes it takes to, to sort our downstairs out and it'll go back and recharge. So for me personally, I've had no issues with battery life. So let's talk about the app, because you can control the N8 Plus from the app, is available on Android and iOS. And this is the third time I've used the app with obviously the previous vacuums as well, and nothing really has changed. It's, it's a fantastic application. So the highly advanced laser-based LiDAR navigation technology helps generate a map, and you can see this generating within the application. It creates a precise map of your house or room or wherever, and Ecovax claimed that it's actually four times the precision of previous mapping technologies. And like I said, you can see all this unfold on the map. So the vacuum will create a precise path and but go around any obstacles with the bumper, any slight bump on there and it will navigate around. Unless it's something really light, <laughs> then it will push it along just like this um, cat bowl. So you can set cleaning preferences within the app. So obviously suction power. There's also the option to increase water or decrease water when it's actually mopping as well. Now, as before, you can create boundaries where you don't want the vacuum to go. So I often put a boundary on the kitchen because I don't want it to go into the kitchen all the time. I have cat bowls and stuff in there and water. And you can do this easy enough. You can just draw a line anywhere on the map, tick, and it works amazingly well. It never, ever goes over that boundary. You can also select custom areas, like draw a square on the map, and the robot will then go and vacuum that area. So there are further detailed settings in the application as well. In the application, some of the main settings that you're probably going to want to use. So you have the basic settings menu, you've got auto boost suction, which I always have on. You've got the auto empty option as well. You can schedule cleaning. So if, if you're out, you might be away for a couple of days, or whatever, you can just set times and dates to do that yourself. Continuous cleaning. And there's also a cleaning cloth reminder and the ability to reset the current map. So you completely delete the whole map and you know, get the vacuum to configure a new map. Additional settings, there is a cleaning log and within the cleaning log, it basically logs every single clean. So duration of mine is seven hours and 32 minutes. Accessories usage is pretty cool as well. It gives or basically an indication of what accessories might need changing first and potentially how much life they may have left in them. So there's also voice report and within here you have a selection of 11 different languages. And you also have the ability to rename your robot as well. Uh, so yeah, that in terms of application is great. You also have a multi-floor option in here, the multi-floor app, you just turn that on and take your vacuum to a different floor and start mapping out another floor which is great. I don't actually use it myself, but I think that's a handy addition.
So my overall opinion on the N8 Plus is great. Been using it for over a month now and maybe only once I've had to clear out the, the brush because there has been some hair tangled around the brush. You will get a, a warning in the app as well if it detects that. But with that handy brush and blade, cut out the hair and easily dispose of that. Maintenance, like I said, is excellent on this device. So the suction is great. It's a powerful vacuum. We only have a short pile of carpet and a hard floor kitchen as well. Maybe thicker, longer carpets, it may struggle a little bit, I don't know. But for where we've been using it, it's been really, really good. So the mapping technology works really well. I mean, the lack of avoidance technology does mean you have to sort of clear the floor space properly and fully prep the floor before you know beginning the vacuum. But it's something you would normally do when vacuuming anyway without a robot. Although this way, you won't be doing the vacuuming yourself. So yeah, you can pretty much leave this vacuum alone and not do anything for, you know, until the empty station is full. There have been times where it might have vacuumed up a certain object and when the empty station is trying to empty the robot, it will get stuck, but it will notify you in the app. So you have to manually go and check those out. So I did my sensor test too. I placed the vacuum on the table to see if the robot would fall to its doom. And it didn't, it was fine. Off the floor. So that concludes my video on the N8 Plus. All links will be in the description below. Like I said, there's coupon codes as well if you want to use them at the checkout to save a little bit of cash. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a fantastic little hoover. And as long as you create a clear path and a map for this vacuum, it will go around daily doing its jobs and you won't even have to touch it. So thank you very much for watching guys and if you do enjoy videos like this then please do consider subscribing. I do these robot vacuum videos, smartphones, tablets, cameras, all sorts of tech really but if you do enjoy that then do subscribe, that'd be a huge help. Give the video a thumbs up, pop any questions you have down below and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.